Fears over the dangers of Ebola in America have prompted nurses across the country to walk off their jobs. And that includes nurses at Providence Hospital in Northeast Washington. This afternoon, they rallied outside that hospital and then later on the U.S. Capitol. The group that represents those nurses say that there's been an erosion of standards for care and a lack of safeguards against Ebola. Their strike comes as the family of the only person to die from Ebola in the U.S. reaches a compromise with the Dallas hospital. Brandy Hitt explains. One month after Thomas Eric Duncan's death, a settlement has been reached between the Duncan family and the hospital where he died. I believe this facility is an outstanding facility, and we as humans, we are not perfect. We make errors. Dallas's Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital mistakenly sent Duncan home in September after he told the staff he had traveled to Africa. Days later, Duncan returned sick by ambulance and died from the disease. We made a mistake and we lost one. But we can save a thousand. With more than 5,100 Ebola deaths in West Africa and 14,000 becoming sick, the White House is now asking Congress for $6 billion to fight Ebola overseas and in the U.S. It will be about the purchase of PPE, that personal protective equipment, training of thousands of health care workers. Thousands of nurses are hitting the picket lines this week demanding better protection when treating Ebola. The latest patient just released Ebola free this week in New York. Today I am healthy and no longer infectious. So far, Duncan is the only patient to die from the disease in the U.S. Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital saying in a statement, we are grateful to reach this point of reconciliation and healing for all involved. The amount of the Duncan family settlement is not being disclosed, but by state law cannot exceed $250,000. The hospital is helping with the memorial fund in Duncan's name to help victims of Ebola. Brandy at ABC News, Los Angeles.